Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert a document file into PDF file. Okay, so basically I'm going to take a open file dialog first of all. And three text boxes. and two buttons so what this button is uh, going to do is basically it will get the file from our system and the second button is going to convert the file into PDF okay so I'll just uh, change the shape of this button and text boxes Now the design is completed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the code for getting the file from our system. I'm double clicking on this get doc button. Open file dialog one dot filter equal doc file. Star dot docs star then star dot docs then files star dot star star dot star okay now open file dialog one dot check file exist equal true if open file dialog one dot show dialog equal forms Alright, we need to import system.windows here. Import system.windows. Coming back to our code forms.dialog result dot ok. Then we are going to take three variables try to take what I'm taking here because I'm going to use these uh, variables in in my function to get the PDF dim dir file name comma file path uh, full path as string then dir equal path dot get directory name uh, we need to import system dot io here all right get directory name then open bracket open file dialog one dot file name next file name equal path dot get file name open bracket same as the above open dialog one dot file name then text box one 
dot text equal file name text box two dot text equal dir then get the full path from this two full path equal dir and forward slash and file name okay then text box 3 uh, dot text equal full path now basically what this code is going to do it will get the path I'm running it here choosing a word file <coughs> so basically the first box gives the name then the second box gives the directory and the third box gives the complete path okay next we are going to work in this PDF button uh, in order to save time I have already written a function for this PDF button so we are going to write the function here I will just copy it from my notepad okay this is the function I will just copy this one and paste it here okay now basically this convert function has got three arguments I'm going to call this function here form one dot convert convert is the name of the function then I'm, I'm, I will pass uh, three parameters first one is the file name so file name or instead of writing file name what we can do is we won't get the scope for this because it is in different method uh, we'll just use the text box okay text box one dot text comma text box two dot text comma text box three dot text all right I need to import uh, this Microsoft Office interop still I have two errors here if you check the error log <coughs> word is undeclared it says so office interop I have imported okay these four things are there then all the imports which I have done is here basically all right next what we are going to do we are going to add references right click on your project here and then go to add references under com you look for Microsoft Uh, Microsoft Word 12.0 object library and Microsoft Office 12.0 object library this two you need to check then click OK one thing which I have done already is uh, this installing this save as PDF this uh, from Microsoft Corporation it is a plugin so you need to install this one in order for this code to work so the installation is complete I'll give a link to this application in the description below and also the function if you get any other errors basically it interrupt.com exception then basically your parameters are not in order or your you have not installed that application which I've been telling so my output folder is here okay now if I run this code
get doc file now choosing a file okay conclusion now if i click pdf your pdf file is here libraries music okay you can change the output folder from the code itself and if i go to the folder okay conclusion is here okay the word file is converted to pdf thank you guys for watching i hope it works well if you have any issues uh, do comment i will i'll try to reply as soon as possible see you in the next video